To me, the selection process is really a great opportunity for applicants to display their strengths. I also think it's a great chance for staff to learn more about applicants and if they're the right fit and possess the different skills and traits we think a successful teacher needs. I really like to think that my relationship with my core members is a lot like a professional learning community. We do a lot of shared analysis of their classrooms. Um, I try to get a lot of their feedback and input in terms of how they'd like to be developed and they're really open to trying new things in their classroom. Question. What word in this question is telling me? Being able to think critically about any given situation is essential as a teacher, especially when you're thinking about all the different scenarios that could happen throughout the course of a day. I also think it's important to show up in your school community knowing that you're joining a team that's already working to champion the causes of our students. I've also seen some of my most successful teachers really being able to do whatever it takes or being willing to do whatever it takes to make sure that their students are learning and having an enriched experience while they're in the school building. What the extra bag of when I was in a freshman in college did an alternative spring break program where I was working in a community in South Side, Chicago, which demographically was similar to Baltimore, but in a lot of ways faced different challenges, some the same, some very different. And the more I understood that, the more I was like, how can I take my leadership experience, my experience on working in these areas, and then bring it to the classroom and help my students. Here are a bunch of fourth graders with bright and promising futures who want leadership opportunities. I know how to delegate leadership and how to be a leader because that's experience I've had. How can I show them that? And how can I give them ownership over that? In thinking about who would make a really great teacher, we really look for the different traits that have proven successful while you're already in the classroom, things like organization and flexibility. One of the most reliable predictors of future behavior is past behavior, and so we invite folks from different backgrounds to apply, whether you're coming from the armed services, whether you recently graduated college. Thinking about one's past achievements, it gives us a chance to see a number of various traits that would help them excel in a classroom to see if they've already applied that in another setting. I tried really hard throughout my college degree to learn Arabic and become fluent. So I applied for the Department of State scholarship and I got it and I got to go. I learned a lot about myself through that situation and I learned a lot about what it means to overcome any kind of anxiety that you have about a situation. And I, you know, applied that to my later jobs that I've had, especially when I was teaching English as a second language. And I also see that, you know, every day in the sixth grade. There's a lot of difficult things that, you know, you see 11, 12 year olds starting to tackle and talk about and you know, I don't want my students to you know, not persevere and shut down. While we value core members having experiences in the communities that they're serving, we also understand that we come from different backgrounds. And so whether or not you have had experience in a low-income community, it's not as important as you having the desire to learn more about your school community. It's great that I can say I have a diverse group of core members. It's not a one-size-fits-all. The children that we teach and some of the problems with education came through us education system that wasn't that great, and I seen the effects that it had on me. I wanted to help kids who grew up in certain situations that were similar to mine. A lot of these kids that I teach now, I see myself in them. I felt like I can bring an authentic experience. It could be something that can relate to them. So I, want, I felt that would be helpful, and I really had a genuine passion to want to help these, you know, these students out. Here at Teach for America, we are one of a growing number of organizations working to end educational inequity. We're looking to identify the strongest applicants who can have the greatest impact with our students, period.